Hello, I'm Wendy. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing kind of a get ready with me. I've got my mirror all set up here and I've got some different things that I want to try. So let's begin. First of all, um, th there's the glasses thing and just if you haven't visited my channel before, um, I need my glasses to see but I don't need them to put on makeup because I have a magnifying mirror. And it, if this is the case with you too, I suggest getting a good magnifying mirror. Mine has a light in it, but it's not a very strong one, just enough to kind of help a little. You also want good light to put on your makeup by, otherwise, you know, who knows what it turns out like. So I take my glasses off and on. You'll see. Today I'm starting, here we go already. Today I'm starting with a sample that I got. I I actually um, passed some kind of milestone at a local store and got a whole makeup bag full of samples. And I've just put them all in this little drawer, but I'm gradually using little bits of them and really enjoying some of them. Some I probably never use, but I thought I would try this one. It's Bioderma Hydro Blow Serum Moisturizing Concentrate Very Dehydrated Sensitive Skin. Now my skin tends to go oily in the middle so I'm not going to put it there. I'm just going to apply it sort of here and my forehead is always pretty pretty dry and it, it's a it's a clear kind of a gel I have not used it before, so I am curious to see how it turns out. So let's have a look. Just going to put some like this. See how far it goes. Oh wow. That little tiny bit went a long way. And it's nice. Mm. It has, has, let me see, it has a very faint scent, kind of floral, really, really pleasant. And it feels, on my fingers, it feels a little bit sticky. But once it's dry on my face, it's pretty smooth. Okay, now to start with today, I'm using a brand new foundation that I've heard a lot about. It's, um, you might have heard, heard of it too. It was, I guess, a sensation on TikTok and then completely sold out everywhere. And it's the L'Oreal Infallible Powder Foundation. Now, I like a powder foundation because I like a matte look. Um, having been oily most of my life, I don't really want to shine. And I find some foundations make me go in a couple of hours around my nose and on my cheeks here close in and here. I'm already shiny. So I tried this once and I think I like it. This one is, let me see what the color is here. This is color 120 vanilla. And when I was in the store, I picked up another one too and I really wasn't sure. I thought this one might be a little yellow for me. And, um, and so I took them to my husband and said, what do you think? And compared them. And he goes, uh -uh, and he is not usually the person to ask these kind of things of, but he was very game. He he chose this one. And then I, I boldly just went up to another woman in the cosmetic department and said, what do you think? And she chose this one. And, and then I asked one of the staff who came around and she chose this one. So I thought, okay, well, it's unanimous. Let's see. Now I'm putting it on with this brush from Pure and um, I've done pure powder foundation in a different video and I'll, I'll put a link below for it. So if you want to look at that one. So all I'm doing is just picking some up like this. Now first impression covers well. I haven't put on a primer and I think I would with this because just because of how it goes in my pores I have kind of obvious pores so when I'm looking for makeup I
try and find something that actually camouflages that. And I need to get a new pore refining primer that doesn't make me go greasy. So when I first put this on, I think, ooh, maybe it is a bit too yellow for me. Because if you compare this color here to here, um, I don't know. I wore it all day yesterday and kept looking at it over the course of the day and finally kind of went, yeah, it actually does kind of work. And maybe I just got used to the look, but let's see. And I have a scratch on my forehead today. Obviously, I flung my arm up there in the nighttime or something. Now, what do you think? Is it too yellow for me? I think it kind of works. Um, maybe not perfectly. Uh, I do like that it covers so well, but I think the jury is still out. Now, for for my concealer, I have two of them, the Catri two Catrice ones. This is the one I use most of the time. This one's a little bit darker and I'm, I think a little bit more yellow, but um, I'm going to use it today to see how it works with this foundation color. And it is in the cup, the, let me just read this backwards. Number 20, light beige. It's kind of handy to be able to read backwards or upside down. Now you can see this one is a little on the dark side. Let's just see how it turns out. Because sometimes once you blend it in. And I'm going to blend it in with a sponge today. This is just a dry sponge. Spread it around with this brush. Always put it over my eyelids as well, just on the bottom of the movable lid because it's a little bit on the red side. So it gives it a nice base. Well, I don't think it's too bad actually. I think it kind of works. What do you think? Jury's out? Okay, I am going to top it off with Revolution Bake and Blot. And I'm going to use this same sponge and just pick up a little bit of it and kind of press it in here. I'm a little bit leery about powder around my eyes because Sometimes that just makes wrinkles look more obvious, and they're kind of obvious today anyway, based on the amount of sleep I had last night. Anyway, we'll leave it at that. One thing I have done too with this is if if I feel like my my foundation is too is okay for this part of my face, but it's too dark for this side, is I'll just put some of this over top, and I think I'm going to do that right now just to lighten it up a bit because this is quite light and my skin is actually quite light, light. I think that looks better actually. Now for, I'm going to use this toner or this bronzer as a contour. It's Hard Candy Just Glow Matte Bronzer in Mango Butter. And that's a good look at the shade. So I've got this new brush called Foundation 163 from Urban Studio. It's cool because it's flat this way and round this way. I'm going to define my jawline, which I don't actually have much of one. I used to have very round cheeks um, for most of my life. And of course, they start to slide down. Gravity will get you in the end. We all know that. Um, and then I lost weight. So I've got these sort of jowls, I guess you call them. I don't really like that word because it sounds like something a fat old man would have, but it is what it is. And I'm also taking this big brush and I'm going to take it like this and just go down my neck and throat. Because it does help to camouflage the saggy bits here. It's good to know, right? And today I'm going to use, for coloring, I'm going to use um, mauve and purple colors because they're cool colors. And you and I probably 
both know, all know, that for the last several years, really warm colors have been the trend. So you get a lot of browns, golds, you know, red, orange, rust, those kind of colors for eyeshadow and everything. But if you're a cool colored person, they don't look the best. And finding cool colors has been a little bit of a challenge. I can get away with some browns and stuff, but not, not always. So the one I'm using today is by Essence and it's called The Blush, and the color is Believing, number 70. So I believe I will use it. I've got my regular mirror over here, so that's why I'm looking over this way to do some of these long distance things, rather than flipping around my other one. To be honest, I'm still kind of getting the hang of, of contouring. This blush actually has a lot of color in it. It's very pigmented, so you don't use very much. And as I mentioned in previous videos too, when, when I start putting pressure on my skin, it immediately goes red, and then I can't tell how much blush I have on. So I have to let it kind of cool down again, and then see. So I think I kind of got it right that time. Now for, what am I gonna do next? I am going to use, um, my favorite eye eyeshadow primer, which is NYX HD. And while that's drying, I'm going to do my eyebrows. And today I'm using this little um, NYX eyebrow marker and the color EBM01 Medium Eyebrow Marker Long Lasting. It's like a little um, paintbrush tip. So you just put it on in little strokes like this and it fills in all those spaces that are, are going to show through the hairs. I've mentioned before that my eyes aren't even. I mean nobody has a perfect face, a perfectly symmetrical face except for Jacqueline Smith apparently. My eyebrows aren't even either. They don't grow evenly and you can camouflage that to a certain extent but at some point you have to just go, well, this one is higher and and more peaked than this one. And who's going to notice but me? Now my eyeshadow primer is dry. It's just, it's just slightly tacky. So the eyeshadow that I'm going to use, keeping with the cool colors, is this one by Revlon, Colors Day, Day to Night, 24 Hour. And the shade, it, or the compact is... 530 seductive and it actually has a little map on the back how you can do your eyes so that's kind of fun it's got day and night so I'm going to use this kind of a combination the day and the night and we'll see how it turns out it starts with this the lightest one which doesn't have a separate name on it all over the lid it's quite frosty, a little frostier than I probably want. But we can work with it. I usually put on my darker colors first. That way I kind of know if I want more. Okay, there's that one. And then number two is this next one. And I'm just going to use a sweeping sort of windshield wiper motion here. These colors, um, I would say they're not highly pigmented. They don't, they don't throw a lot of color on. I'm gonna do this just about the same with this one because that light one didn't really do much. And I'm taking it out a little bit farther as well. One thing uh, I find interesting as as an artist and a color a colorist is that um, your eye color looks better with certain colors. For example, uh, I have hazel eyes and I tend to look good in purples because of the the kind of opposite on the color wheel, and so it's very flattering 
and if you have very blue eyes, you'll probably find that brown shadows work the best for you. What you don't want to do is kind of match up the same color as your eyes. So my hazel eyes have a lot of green and I've tried using green shadows and sometimes I can kind of get away with it, but they have to be um, quite a cold or deep green because lighter green shadows just don't work. And I can get away with with brown if they're cool browns. So just a little tip about color. And now for the bottom, I'm going to use this fourth color. And put a, first I'm gonna put a little bit in here. As you can see, it's a darker color. It's got a little bit of fallout here. I should have blown it off the brush first, and tap it off. And this is quite a fluffy little brush for um, a wedge brush, but I want that kind of soft line. And I'm just going to take it up like this. I'll try and kind of get some lift in the back end here. The back end of my eye, that is. Again, tap, tap. Kind of fill in that corner and then take it up like this. Yep, even, I think we did it. There. It's a nice look. It's a nice color. Um, and it's it actually works well with my cover coloring. Now, the only thing I have to do now is uh, my mascara. So I'm quickly curling my eyelashes. I give them a really hard squeeze and then move it and squeeze it, move it and squeeze it, move it and squeeze it. And then towards the end when they look like they're getting pretty, pretty good, I pull it off like that. But someone told me the other day, it's like, I was horrified when you did that. I thought you'd pull your eyelashes out. You don't squeeze hard when you do that. You just kind of hold it and it gives a nice sweep rather than, than corners on your eyelashes. As you can see, I've done like six squeezes, good hard squeezes, and then pull it up. And sometimes I'll just pick up the ends and pull them up. Sometimes I go like this and then like this. So I get that curve on everything. And for mascara, I'm using Telescopic by L'Oreal. I guess that's... Is that the French side? No, this is, anyway, Telescopic by L'Oreal in black. And what I love about this mascara is the brush because it's very tiny, it's very skinny. It actually holds quite a bit, but it it's easy to work with. And if you don't have huge eyes, like I don't, then you can get it into the little corners and the idea with telescopic is that it makes your eyelashes look long. So I go right at, right to the base of my lashes. Now, if I want my eyelashes to look really thick, sometimes I'll go back in with something else that actually is more thickening. Now, if I want it, like I said, if I want more volume, I will go over them. But right now, I'm not going to because they're still wet. So in the meantime, I'm going to put some pencil that I'm using. The pencil is by Avon and it's Glimmer Sticks for Lips. This color is Iced Orchid. Keeping with the cool color theme. And it's a twist up one. I have a feeling it's just about gone, but. Nice, strong color. I'm not going to fill in my lips with it because the lipstick that I'm using is also a strong color. It's called Amethyst number 084, Amethyst Shimmer Lasting Finish Lipstick by Rimmel. And you'll find below, I'll put all the links for all the products that I'm using here, as many as I can. I think this is a dazzling color and I love it with the purple eyeshadow. Now, one more step. I am going to go back in with mascara that thickens. Um, just a word about mascara primer. I would love to use mascara primer. 
However, it's all water-based and like the ones I've used anyway are water-based and I can curl my eyelashes till the cows come home and as soon as I put it on they go Meow. so even though they, they thicken they don't really it doesn't really help me very much because if you can't if my eyelashes are going straight out they can't be seen in the same way as if they're going up like this so if someone if anyone knows of a waterproof primer for eyelashes. I'm going to research this. I'm using um, Last Sensational Mascara by Maybelline, which is one of my favorite. It It is quite thickening. And I do want just a little bit more action here. I forgot to shut my bathroom door again. So I might as well explain what's going on back there. This is my my ensuite off my bedroom, but I don't have a very big house, so it's got every room is used to the max. And in this case, I've got my sewing table and sewing machine and everything back there, and sewing jobs pile up. I've got some mending to do and whatnot, so please overlook that. Next time I'll try and remember to close the door. I actually had closed it and then I opened it again, went out. Well, what do you know? What I do is look in the mirror and go, okay, what needs to happen here? And in this case, what I want to do is take my eyeshadow out a little farther because my eyes tend to be quite round and when they when they're really round it's like it just it's a look that I don't I'm not after so what I'm, I'm going to take this brush which is one I picked up at Walmart the other day I like it's like a contour brush and I like the shape of it it's a little bit stiffer than some shadow brushes and I'm going to take this dark color and just take it out this way See what a difference that makes? Suddenly my eyes go this way instead of just like this. And then I just take it in a little towards the center, up a little, because as I've mentioned before, my hooded eyes, when they close, basically shut down all that eyeshadow if I don't take it up high enough. And I always feel like I'm taking it up too high. To blend it, I'm going to just use my fingertip, which is a very handy tool and something we all have. All right, please subscribe to my channel and click the little bell and the and all so that you can get notified of my videos. And please leave a comment and let me know what you think of these different different looks, different makeup. If you if you like this color, is it good on me? Um, have you used it? Do you like it? Uh, this L'Oreal makeup. Uh, I love your comments and I'll see you next time.